Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we're going to be wet sanding the skyline. Stay tuned. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in guys, if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button and the post notification bell to stay up to date with my projects. With that being said, let's get into it. Alrighty guys, so we're going to be doing a wet sand on the body of the car. I'm not going to be doing the front bumper, rear bumper or side skirts, everything else. I'll be wet sanding and polishing, buffing, polishing. So, just found out that Toolbro have these fine foam sanding pads. So, I am going to use these with some water. I'm going to start off with some 3000, see how it goes to flatten off my paint. If you didn't know, I did the paint job on this about a year ago, just over a year. And you can see, maybe not, you can see all the scratches from hand sanding it. So hopefully with this on a buff, it's going to get it looking like a mirror. All the guys at work give me shit because it's not <laughs> glossy as well. If not, it's got the clear on there. So I might be able to see it from this angle a bit better. It's not actually flat. So let's get it flat. Get all the little pits out of it. And... Um, yeah, I'm excited. This is going to take a while. Hopefully I'll get it all done tonight. It's just after 8 o'clock, so I've got a bit of work to do. And there are a couple of little spots that actually have gone and chipped on me. Or where I buffed it through. So, so here we go. And uh, hopefully it turns out all right. I still need to do another coat of paint on the bumpers. I am thinking of maybe doing a black lip on the front here and the diffuser part black on the back as well. So that'll be coming up shortly. But you can tell the, the different colour because this has an extra coat of the colour, the pearl and some clear. Whereas this doesn't. Plus this is all cracked. Anyway, let's do it. Alright, so I'm borrowing my workmate's uh, Apex Custom Buffer. Pretty much a try before you buy. I am looking at getting one of these. It's got a nice length cord on there, so... Won't need an extension at all. Got power there, power there, and power over there. So we should be good to do the full car. Like I said before, I'm going to start with the 3000 just to see how it goes taking it down with the power of the buff. And if I need to go to a 2000 or a 1000. I doubt I need to go to a 1000. But yeah, I don't want to go too hard too fast. So let's start with that fella. Also, I should probably mention I did give the car a good wash at work um, and just drove it home and came straight in but, yeah that 3000 should take that off <laughs> mm -hmm. um i'll go get some water got some, some spray bottle all right guys this is actually the first time using these fine foam sanding pads so hopefully it goes all good 
Alright, I'm going to put you on time lapse. Um, I'm just going to have some music going. So, can't really have that. Otherwise, I'll get demonetized. Alrighty, you can probably see where I went to down here. Sorry about the LED light actually, it's not gonna work. Um, it's not really, it's better but it needs more. So I'm gonna go down to a 2000. Hi boys, got the 2000 on there now. Hopefully this will uh, make it nice and flat. Alright, just spend a decent time on there. 2,000, still not enough, so <laughs> going down to the 1,000. <sighs> Alrighty guys, spent a couple of minutes on that quarter of the bonnet with 1,000. Slowly getting there. I'll spend a bit more time on it. Alrighty guys, it's about three hours later. This clear coat is so tough. Um, the thousand pad, um, couldn't cut it down. Really need like a 600 I reckon. Still see some of it. So, Whenever it with the 2000, 3000, and I'm gonna buff it and polish it. That's really all I can do. And yes, I've only done the bonnet. Oh, it's like 11.30. Hmm. I was hoping I would be close to at least getting onto other panels. Anyway, I'm trying. <laughs> I didn't know this clear coat was this hard. All right, I'll get the buff pads out and the cutters and polish. Anyways, it's starting to rain, but um, I've done the cut and the polish, and I'm not happy. Um, I must have laid the clear on pretty thick at the front here, and it looks looks pretty good. But then, yeah. sorry about the LED flashing. I can't really pick it up. I have to shine the sunlight sometime. But yeah, I know 
it was definitely a bad paint job but uh, yeah. see all the highs and lows and feels smooth probably good to wrap I reckon I've had enough for one night. It's hoping to do this all tonight, but yeah. I think the bonnet was the hardest. I mean the worst, should I say? Um Yeah. Might be able to do the roof um Is that bubbles? So, hey spider. Here. Yeah. That's um, the primer coming through. Can you, oh, there you go. You can see it. Now it's all spotty. That's all the low points. And that's the section I see all the time. So, walking to the car to get in. And it just looks horrible. Yeah, I can only find like a 600 grit on a orbital. That'd be pretty good. Alrighty guys, it's the next day. It's about 11.30 now. My forearms are killing me. It was it like four hours or so on the buff last night? So we're probably heading out today. So I want to try to do the roof and this section here on both sides. So that's what's doing my head in, is seeing that. So yeah. I'll, uh, do the roof. I'll start on the other side. Oh no, I'll start on this side. Buffs on this side already. so hard for me because the paint is really wavy so when I'm taking off the clear I think I'm actually getting down to the pearlescent as well in some spots so you got clear pearlescent and color because it's that wavy um, I think that's why the bonnet was so bad but I'm starting to get spots here so I'm hoping I'm hoping it's not like on the roof over there where it's um it's gonna flake off or just chip off. Just have little pinheads of uh, primer. Yeah, that looks heaps better. Keep going with the roof. The roof needs a little bit more work. Please. So might be able to see it a bit better. These little spots, I can actually feel them on here. Now, what are they? Is that crap in the paint, or is it moisture, or is it just rust coming through? Uh, it's really annoying. Anyway, I'm gonna hit this bit and see how it turns out. You might be able to see. I've actually buffed this, I've buffed this at work, and it's pretty bad. I might actually take it down to this line. I see a lot better doing it during the day, because I've got the, the light coming in, and I can actually see it properly.
getting there. Getting there. Boys. Okay, so I've already been over the back section with the corset pad and 1000. About to move to a polishing pad and 2000. So I should give it a bit more of a shine. So that'll be good. Pretty sure you, you're bored of me using the machine, so I'm back when I've finished. All right, just finished polishing. Need to wipe it down, but <sighs> it's not the best, but it's better. Mm, yeah, still a lot to go. Um, let's see, can't do it this time around. So it's on the bonnet roof. These panels here and the boot. So, still got a lot of surface area to do. Start to lean towards getting it wrapped. It's not that bad. But I'll probably shove up anyway. Anyways. Alright, pretty much finished. Just cleaning up the surfaces. So, um, it's shinier. It. So, trying to detail the worst paint job ever. <laughs> this should be the title. Anyway, if you like this episode, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button. And I'll catch you next episode. Bye. Bye.